Five things. First, a new industrial revolution. Every data center should be accelerated. A trillion dollars worth of installed data centers will become modernized over the next several years. Second, because of the computational capability we brought to bear, a new way of doing software has emerged, generative AI, which is going to create new, inf new infrastructure dedicated to doing one thing and one thing only, not for multi-user data centers, but AI generators. These AI generation will create incredibly valuable software a new industrial revolution. Second, the computer of this revolution, the computer of this generation, generative AI, trillion parameters, Blackwell, insane amounts of computers and computing. Third, <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Good job. Third, new computer, new computer creates new types of software. New type of software should be distributed in a new way so that it can, on the one hand, be an endpoint in the cloud and easy to use, but still allow you to take it with you, because it is your intelligence. Your intelligence should be pack packaged up in a way that allows you to take it with you. We call them NIMS. And third, these NIMS are going to help you create a new type of application for the future. Not one that you wrote completely from scratch, but you're going to integrate them like Teams. Create these applications. We have a fantastic capability between NIMS, the AI technology, the tools, Nemo, and the infrastructure, DGX Cloud, in our AI foundry to help you create proprietary applications, proprietary chatbots. And then lastly, everything that moves in the future will be robotic. You're not going to be the only one. And these robotic systems, whether they are humanoid, AMRs, self-driving cars, forklifts, manipulating arms, they will all need one thing. Giant stadiums, warehouses, factories. There can be factories that are robotic, orchestrating factories, uh, manufacturing lines that are robotics, building cars that are robotics. These systems all need one thing. They need a platform, a digital platform, a digital twin platform, and we call that Omniverse, the operating system of the robotics world. These are the five things that we talked about today. What does NVIDIA look like? What does NVIDIA look like? When we talk about GPUs, there's a very different image that I have when, I, when people ask me about GPUs. First, I see a bunch of software stacks and things like that. And second, I see this. This is what we announced to you today. This is Blackwell. This is the platform. <laughs> amazing, amazing processors, NVLink switches, networking systems, and the system design is a miracle. This is Blackwell. And this, to me, is what a GPU looks like in my mind.